Welcome back out to the greenhouse guys. We're out here on a decently windy day so I hope you can hear me well. I'm going to keep the camera close to me. So we've got all of these poles here. These are poles from last winter so those were little low tunnels that we had in our high tunnel or half tunnel here. So we're getting all those in place and getting things ready to get some tunnels up over things and start planting. I am super dirty. I've been working out here so we're trying to get a lot of things in motion and one of those things happens to be creating free water out of air. So, so if you live in a very humid climate and when you pull something out of the fridge it starts to sweat whether you're inside or outside. So it's very easy to see condensation and when we have some type of system like we plug into our house like a dehumidifier it's going to pull the air into the system pull the moisture out and then heat it up and dry it and leave the system so if we can just create a system where we can pull the air from water by creating condensation with some type of geothermal effect or the geothermal effect the cooling effect of our 120 130 gallon container of water here so if we're able to do that for the most part of the day we're late into the afternoon and it's been rather cloudy so our systems are kind of sporadic I turned it off I actually unplugged it so we could flow some water it still has a little residual water sitting on the system that had collected and pooled together so we are harvesting water and putting water back into our system with this DIY dehumidifier so if you live in a humid climate you could very easily be pulling moisture out of the air and utilizing it for yourself or for your plants or for fish really all you've got to do is bury some type of system or use a sunken system that will stay cool and where I got this idea was observations I was paying attention to my buckets and my barrels I have a huge rain barrel I've got 55 gallon drums and I've got two large hundred plus gallon tanks with fish and water running simple aquaponics. So we have all that water acting as a thermal mass both ways. It's holding thermal energy whether it's cool or whether it's warm. So it's going to hold that longer throughout the day and then it's going to stay warmer throughout the night as it cools back down. So we are able to use this and we're actually warming the water up faster by running it through all of this copper coil here. And I'm going to show this little system and I've touched on this a few times but I really wanted to show this in its own little video. So this is obviously a very simple system. It's just an add-on to our aquaponics and it's taking advantage of all the water. I'm not taking credit for building a dehumidifier, but it is dehumidifying the air and pulling condensation down into our tanks. So I'm definitely gonna build upon this experiment right here and I'd really like your guys' input. This is where you guys come in. Hopefully you stay tuned up to this point here. It is kind of a simple experiment, so I get it if you've already skipped out. But if you're still here, please drop me some ideas and let's kind of brainstorm this one together. So my thought, I wish I had my diagram I drew up in my notebook. So my idea is to bury some type of tank that I have a pump down in and I can just kind of hard line I'm thinking at least 30 gallons or more for a tank, a storage tank in the ground to hold that thermal mass as it's transferring and going back down. I'd like a 50 gallon tank, but that's going to be huge amount of soil for me to excavate and bury so the smaller and the slimmer the better I'm gonna try and figure out what I can do with this here but I'd like to use some type of geothermal to create a dehydrator where I can actually give myself water and I can feed my plants for free just off of what I'm pulling out of the air so I thought this was a very cool experiment and I'm definitely gonna build upon that I don't think our pump our pump might be running I just clicked it on here so you can see that bee over here. So we've got our water flowing. It's not running very well because we don't have a whole lot of power. It already actually just kicked off, but we're having water flow from in there and you can see the water dripping off of there. This physically feels cooler. Oh, we're gonna come out here early morning and get a good temperature, but the water is definitely warm down here and it's gonna be cooler in the bottom of the tank. So I wanna get some data analysis and figure out levels and depths and see what we're actually doing and how much we're transferring and possibly capture the water and see how much water we're actually catching. I'm seeing uh, bees that are coming and drinking from the actual pebbles here. So that's very interesting to see them come drink from the little tray of aquaponics here. That's 
very cool because we're helping the planet, we're helping the bees, helping pollination, and hopefully they'll go just hibernate in our hive over there and we can collect a free hive of bees. We don't have to order a nuke of bees for ourselves. So before I let everybody go, I really wanted to show this system here. So I have updated our overflow and waste catchment. So this is just a two inch hole or whatever drilled down in. I believe it's two inches and it goes about to the top of the bucket so it has plenty of room to drop all of the waste in there and then we have a five gallon storage unit that is pretty well sealed up and we don't have a whole lot of leakage and this whole system is pretty darn well sealed and we're starting to add inputs here so we're going to bring an update video on that and i'm going to let everybody go here i know i got some beautiful tomatoes to show on the way out check out this mortgage lifter here that is a monster tomato right there. Big old mortgage lifters. You got a nice red one over here. Looking just beautiful. Super heavy. So I'm glad these strings and the whole frame held up with all the tomato weights. So thank you to everyone for subscribing to the channel. If anybody's got any ideas for me or suggestions for experiments to do this winter, we're going to be doing a lot of experimenting and I've got a lot of ideas wrote down. So we're really, really building upon everything that we've learned and just moving forward with that. So I really appreciate everybody watching and I will see you guys next time.